Alright guys, so I'm taking a second attempt at this game because it just straight up fucking killed my computer when I tabbed to full screen it. Don't tab to full screen it. From my experience when I tried... So at first it like black screened my second monitor and then when I tabbed back out of it, it just straight up killed my computer when I tried to minimize it. So do not tab. That is a freaking trap. Um, I could level select, but the whole video pretty much got ruined by the fact that I actually tabbed. Um, so I'm gonna have to start back over. What happened to my audio? Dang. Uh, oh no, your girlfriend has been kidnapped and is being held hostage by the evil blue eyeball Gork. Help me, Astro! How to dodge the asteroids and enemies by using WASD to go to. So you can get. To the wormholes to save her. Help me, Astro! Okay. So this game... These rocks move at super high freaking velocity speed, bounce off you, and then they can multi-hit you because there's no infinity frames like that where you can just get completely destroyed. It's freaking phenomenal. You just wanna like... I mean, you can't wait for them to get on a pattern where they keep, like they're going up and down or some crazy crap like that so you don't get brutally murdered by them. But, I'm not that patient. I'd rather just try to run it. Because, honestly, with how fast your character moves, if they get on the right path, you're, it's impossible to get through them without getting hit, based on the size of the room. Like, see how I just got hit twice by that one room? And believe me, if you touch anything in this game that's freaking not... If you touch anything in this game, you bounce off it, so it's freaking tilting. Because you'll be, like, running, trying to run, and you'll hit something. And it will bounce you off. And this part I hate even more because the walls that bounce you, they're gray in a, like, dark, dark gray in a black room, so you can't barely see them. Like, I don't know. Are you guys able to see the walls? Because I can't see them barely on my screen. Maybe it's because I'm, like... <laughs> just, I don't have... My special eyes aren't working properly to see all the dang... the walls on this map. But... Yeah, this, this level in particular is extremely frustrating because I can't see where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this game is hecka tilting though. You're looking for like, I don't even know if I'm in the right spot. I can't even get to that damn thing from here. Wait, right here. There's an opening. Go! But yeah, this game is super tilting. And over here, this blue rock, it is a heat seek. Look at that shit that just happened. That blue rock's a heat seeker. If you go through there, it one shot you. The lava on the side of the walls, that one shot you as well. Um, the boulders that are flying like 50 miles per hour, if they get the right kind of motion, they'll one shot you as well. <laughs> oh my fucking god. That blue heart down there, it makes you slip and slide, which makes it possible to go fast enough to beat that big blue rock. But then you're slipping in a slide, and so it's like real easy to die. Yeah. And then this boss, I guess you just dodged. This is where I crashed last time because I was hitting the tab key. Uh, this game is just mildly frustrating. I don't know how you beat the boss. I think you just dodge until he just leaves you alone, I guess. I really think everything just... See, I made it to the next wave, I guess. This part's really easy. You just dodge back and forth, really. Oh. But if you cut back where you came from, you're screwed. But all you have to do is keep going in one direction, and he can't hit you. Oh, we did it. This is where I didn't get past this level yet. I'm sure there's even more annoying mechanics to go, baby. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we made it. Wow, that was nice. Oh, is this my girlfriend? Did we make it together? Are we on our way out? Apparently, this is a multiplayer game, too. I can't play the multiplayer because I'm just one person, but... I could try, but it probably wouldn't be worth it. Now we both can get hit by these stupid boulders that fly at insane velocity. <laughs> oh goodness gracious. What? Oh my god, that's a telter. That thing just wombo combo killed me. That's funny as hell. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know if you guys can feel my frustration with this game. 
this isn't really a get good thing. It's just like a RNG thing. You just kind of run and hope you get like a good spawn on the rocks balances. If you don't, you're just kind of at their mercy. There's, you can do some dodging if you're patient. I'm not that patient though. I'd like to beat the game. I don't like to wait on obstacles. Ugh, ignorant. Oh, I'm so bad. Oh, another boss. Woo! Ooh, look at this. Do the waves kill me instantly? Probably. Yeah, they, the waves hurt me, that's for sure. Oh, I'm so dead. Let's go. Oh, put your boogie shoes on, baby. Yeah! Boogie. I suck. Okay. Alright, just hit me. I'm already taking so much damage. So. <laughs> oh. I mean, it's not an awful game, but it is hella frustrating to say that. What's that thing? It is just fucking murdering the j jackass off of me. What is that, Slendy Man? Get away from me, Slendy Man. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck am I supposed to do here? He's just beat my ass, dude. <laughs> oh, get away from me, dick. Oh, I was supposed to go that way. Oh my god, he's pissing me off, dude. What the fuck? Where am I supposed to go? Oh man. I don't know how many of you guys watched Mimpy the Bunny. What the fuck am I. What? I don't even know why I went to the next stage that time because I. Oh, whatever. Fuck this game. Oh my god, I have literal one health. There's like all these fucking balls bouncing around like crazy. I'll be honestly shocked if I beat this game. I'm getting actually. Really fucking tilted. Uh, really hard to dodge things where they're going <laughs> way faster than you are. But we did it. Alright, cool. Where are we at now? This has probably been one of the best levels so far. You can actually, like, dodge the things. Because the rooms aren't- well. I spoke it too soon. Spoke it way too soon. Son of a bitch, I can't bounce off the stupid wall. If you could just, like, run into the walls without bouncing off them, this wouldn't be that bad. To be honest with you. But you literally- oh my god. <laughs> Fucking tilted. I am so tilted. Oh, I am more tilted than a ping p pinball machine. Oh. Lord almighty. Mm -hmm. Yes, just take all the health I just got, you fucking dickbag balls. Yes. You gotta go around these tight corners with these super speed bouncy balls. It's freaking great. Oh my god. Fuck you! Oh my. Hmm. Ooh! This game is fucking literal hell on earth. <laughs> They're literally bouncing into me as I spawn. That's so crazy. <laughs> oh. Fuck yeah, dude. Fucking. That's so stupid. 
Uh, I wonder how many more levels of this I have. I guess if you wanted to play a hell of frustrating game, this is it. This is like different frustrating from In Passing though. In Passing was a really well made game. It was hard, but really well made. This game, is, uh, it's not bad, like badly made. It's just not made to be fair. Like there's things that happen in this game where you don't really have any work around to it, except for just keep running the stage. And I'm lost apparently, good to know. Good shit. Like, how the fuck do I get over there? Oh. Look at that shit. <laughs> oh, lord. And <sighs> yeah, the question is, how the fuck do I get... Is there like a wall I can go through somewhere here? Like I don't see anything I can go through to get to that stupid thing. Unless there's something I'm missing, but I would not know because everything looks the fucking same on this stage. How do I get- is that what I'm supposed to be getting to? I don't know. Now oh, fuck my health. Fuck my health, right? Ooh, baby. Urge to kill fucking rising. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Aster is such a piece of shit and his girlfriend's a piece of shit too. I just want to put that out there. Oh. Is his name Astro? I think that's what it was. The game's called Dodger, but I think his name is Astro. I just want to let everybody know I fucking completely hate this dude. Like, where the- how the fuck do I get through this? Like, I don't understand. I don't under-fucking-stand where I'm supposed to go. Ah, is that where I'm supposed to go? It's gonna fucking bounce me to death, isn't it? It's literally impossible! It's literally blocking the fucking- Oh my god! Oh man! You fucking kidding me! Oh, alright. Maybe someone really does enjoy games like these, but this is not for me, dog. I guess that's like a false exit over there. You don't even need to worry about that. Oh lord. Sensibility frames would do wonders for something that moves at a billion times your speed and could just bounce off everything and hit you and you're bouncing off every fucking wall in the game. Fucking joke. <laughs> someone loves these games though. There has to be someone out there that loves these games. Just not me. I'm not the one. Oh, can I not go through here? <laughs> I'm too thick. Astro, you're too thick, you fat fuck. Go through the stupid ass crack, you fucking chunker. Oh, chunky boy. Oh my god, this rock's just fucking guiding me by beating my ass at the same time. It's fucking great. Hmm, fuck yeah. I'm pretty convinced there's no like skill way to beat this game. You just kind of gotta like run at it until you win. Pretty sure that's what you have to do. Unless you have like really good patience, then you can just wait for the balls to like get on a route where they won't hit you. But I ain't got time to wait for that. Look at this shit right here. Fuck away from me. Dick. Then we got this 
Oh, we got two balls up here now. Two balls. Woo! Did we beat the level? Yeah, baby. Oh my god. What is this shit? Fuck y'all. Oh, this is such bullshit. Oh my fucking god, dude. I just got my brain confused. Not too bad till you get hit and then you're fucking, my brain started lagging. Is this Gark? It's, he's a big blue eyeball. Maybe that's Gark, maybe this is final boss. Oh, now they're doing shots. See, I feel like, hmm. What's going on now? Oh. Hmm. Fuck you, dude. This bouncing radius—it's like fucking random, dude. Because he's not even stupid. It's so stupid. You can't even predict his bouncing moves faster than you because he doesn't bounce like opposite where he is. He does sometimes, but then sometimes he just runs the whole map like that. That's fucking hilarious. This is a struggle. Just kill me already. It's not bad enough he hits you right when you spawn. He just, oh my god. Absolutely frustrating as hell. Move your fucking ass, you stupid little fucker, dude. Astro is so fucking slow. I guess he's in zero gravity, but damn, dude. Come on, man. You gotta try harder than that. Thank you, Astro, for saving me! Is that all we get for beating the stupid game? <laughs> I guess what we got what we were supposed to do. Is that it? We done? The end. Levels made by Chris. Music tracks made by Chris and Ethan. Literal game made by Chris. Programming by Chris. Art made by Chris and Jackson. A special thanks to Ben and Devin for taking interest in this game and its early development. Khaled and Clive for being the first people to play one of my games. And finally Ethan for teaching and motivating me to make games. To everyone who has played and to make... Who has played and enjoyed my games. It means a lot to me seeing you struggle in anger. Burst in happiness and spring in surprise in my games. Thank you. P.S. Not so much the anger part. Well, you got the anger part out of me for sure. But, um, uh, like I said, it's not an awfully made game, but there's a lot of things about it that could be improved. Well, to make it more fun. I mean, if you're, if the point of the game is to be frustrating and difficult, it does that. Because there's no iframes. The things move faster than you. They have, like, an unpredictable pattern. The final boss definitely has an unpredictable. Well, actually, it was predictable because he was... Well, he bounces like everything else does, but then he has a thing where he runs the whole outside of the map, so you're screwed. But, uh, I'm sure there are people that enjoy games like this, but it is not for me. A 2D top-down where I'm slower than the obstacles, and there's, like, very tight space to move, maneuver around in. It just feels like there's not much outplay, and I'm just throwing myself through the stages. But thanks for watching, as always, guys. It was, uh, it was alright. It wasn't bad. It wasn't terrible. But, yeah. If you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. Bye!